Good morning everyone, my name is Bart and welcome to my first VBA expert video. In this video I will show you how to read scanned PDFs. I shouldn't really call it a VBA video because most of the work is done by two open source programs, namely Unar and Tesseract. I wrote this script in VBA because I had to collect invoice numbers and payment dates in an Excel file. Unar is an archiving tool, you will use it to convert PDFs to image files and Tesseract is a tool to read images. We will use it to convert images to text files. I can't remember exactly where I downloaded Unar and Tesseract. I think it was from GitHub. In any case, both programs are legally available for free. In this video, I will be using the following techniques, variables, loops, conditionals, APIs, shell scripting, and the FSO library. Note that I haven't made separate videos for all of these topics at the moment, but I will do so soon and I will update the description down below with the links. This video is divided in six steps, but remember, before starting this video, please do search for Unar and Tesseract. Step 1. Looping to the folder with PDFs. Step 2. Running Unar and Tesseract. Step 3. Fortifying our program runs with APIs. Step 4. Put all images in one folder. Step 5. Gather data in one text file. And lastly, step 6, read text files. Step 1, looping through a folder. You can loop through a folder either by using DIR or the FSO library. I strongly suggest to use the latter. In this case, we definitely have to use the FSO library because with DIR, we can't have multiple loops in each other. First off, we got to add the FSO library to our VBE. Go to Tools, References, and make sure the Microsoft scripting runtime is ticked on. Press OK. Next, we create our separate procedure. And we create the necessary variables. and a file. I also create another variable for the folder directory as a string. First off, let's set the FSO to create object scripting dot file system object. Next we give our string some content. Now we set our folder to FSO, oops, FSO dot get folder brackets open and we drop in the string. Now all is set to create our loop for each file in folder with files. We take certain actions at the end next file. Step two, running Unar and Tesseract. Let's create two more variables with the directories of Unar and Tesseract. I've put my PDFs in the same folder as where the Unar and Tesseract programs are, just to make it a bit easier for me. So I can use the same variable over here. And we write Unar, oh sorry, over here, Unar dot see and over here we write tesseract slash tesseract dot xe I've pulled up the original code that I'm using in, a, in my macro but it's a bit longer because I also have a third program which I'm program which I'm using to go from PDF straight to text but this doesn't work with images so it's not for scanned PDFs what we're looking for is the unar part so let's take this one. I'll just copy paste it. Shell means to run the program. The S Unar is the directory of the Unar program. Next we have a space in here. Then we have the PDF, which we should write in this case O file dot name. These things you don't always need them but it's necessary whenever you have in your directory some spaces. So it's better to always use it. After on calling Unar, we call Tesseract. This text file is where 
Tesseract will drop the text file, so it should be a directory. So this we should also add to our list of variables as text. And it's a variable which should change every time because the name is changing of the file that we are handling. So we write as folder and put in a slash in there and o file name and convert. So what we have now is we created a loop in which for every file we will first run unar which will return the image from the pdf next we call tesseract which will return a text file note that in here we're using another variable called new path Because whenever you unpack the PDF and it returns the images, Unar is creating a, a folder. So the S new path is the original path. And I'm going to add a slash here. And the file name and another slash. If you were to run it now, you will notice that both Unar and Tesseract take some time to run. VBA won't wait for these programs to finish their job. Since Tesseract depends on the output, output of Unar, it might not work. So we need to add a waiting stage. We could use a set number of seconds to wait, so let's say 5 seconds. But on a bad day, this number would be too small and the whole thing would crash. And on a good day, we would just be losing time because VBA would be waiting without a reason. So here is what I did. Firstly, I added the sleep and find window API. I have my API stored in a module which I also always carry with me. I don't need all of them, but I will just copy them for now. And we drop them on top. I will delete the ones which, which I don't need. So now I can use both the sleep and find window API. I will add two loops now behind both running the Unar program and the Tesseract pro program. The first loop will try to quickly catch the handle of the window. A second loop will check every few milliseconds whether the window is still is still running. In this way we will know exactly when Unar or Tesseract stopped and we can launch the next program. I just copy paste the code from my other script to make things a bit faster. How does it work? First we run the code, next we try to get the handle of the of the pop-up window which you can find here both in this find window API and this find window API we do a, a loop until we find the handle and there is a very small only 50 milliseconds wait for every loop next there is another loop in which we wait 500 milliseconds this loop will continue until we can't find uh, the handle anymore and we do the same for Tesseract as you can see, I'm using the same variable in all four loops, so let's create this variable as well. I think it should be a long, if I'm not mistaken. As I said earlier, when you use Unar, Unar will create automatically a fol folder in which it will put the images of the PDF. Yet this is not always the case. If the PDF consists only of one image, then Unar won't create a folder. Since I want to standardize this project and I always want to go to this folder to loop through all the files in it and use Tesseract on it, I will add a small piece of code just to make sure that the images are always in a separate folder. In order to do so, we will first check whether a folder is created and if not, we create a folder and we copy the image to the folder. Again, I'm just copying my code from a previous project. What is happening over here? New path, well, we already have this variable, so we don't need this one anymore. We go through the new path, the new path which is the folder in which Unar found the PDF 
plus the name of the PDF. If this folder doesn't exist, it means that there is only one image. So we create a folder. We wait for a moment to be for it to be created. And we copy this one image to the created folder. Use file copy and then later we kill it. Maybe there's also a cut and paste instead of copy paste, but I always use file copy and kill. So now we have a script which goes through all the PDFs, it, it converts the PDF to images, then it will make sure that the images are always in a folder named after the PDF name. Next, Tesseract will be applied on every image, which means that in the same folder of the image we will have text files with the text of the image. So the only thing that we, do, that we need to do now to have a one-on-one -on -one between the initial PDF and the text file is to add all the different text files from, from the different images into one. This code I will put at the end of the whole process. So let's take a look at what's happening here. Again, we will loop through the folder of this one PDF, which might have multiple images, which would result in multiple text files. We create a variable, which is named after the PDF name, but we add text to it. We create such a text file, and next we loop through this folder and whenever we find a text file, we copy the data to our newly created text file. Afterwards, we write the number of the page and we close the text file. So now we end up with a folder in which we have a bunch of text files, one file per image, plus the new text file, which, would, which contains the text of all the other files. So what we're going to do now is we'll create a folder which is called output and in this folder we will only put the text file that contain all the text. Next we delete the folder with all the images and the text. To do so we first kill the content of the folder and then we kill the folder itself. I couldn't present this project as I would like because of the complexity but I hope that everything is working for you. In case of errors or questions please contact me through the comments down below. Also, I will put a link in the description to the file which works for me. Note that Tesseract might return false negatives and positives, meaning it might return nothing when there is something, and it might return the wrong characters. Other image readers might have a better hit rate, but none of them can guarantee avoiding f false negatives and false positives. I also made a 2.0 version of this macro in which I put Unar and Tesseract in a zip file and put the zip file in Excel as an object. The macro would first open and unpack the zip file and then go through the same steps as I just described. The upside of this is that the user didn't have to download Tesseract and Unar and make sure that they are always in the, same, in the same folder. But I will leave this for another time. For now, have a good day and I will see you at the next video.